So the NFL draft has come to a close, and the New England Patriots, particularly Bill Belichick, is taking a lot of heat. He may have reached a little too much on some of these selections, so I'm going to break it down for you a little bit here. Starting with the first round, the Patriots had the 21st overall pick, but they traded back to 29th, where the Chiefs were at, and selected left guard Cole Strange out of UT Chattanooga. Now, Strange, look... He's going to start for the Patriots. He's going to, they, they traded Shaq Mason this offseason. He's going to fit in that left guard role on day one and do a terrific job. Strange is actually his RAS score, relative athletic score, is the seventh highest of any player coming out of the guard position over the last 35 years. So he's pretty good. He plays after the whistle. He's tough. He works hard. Nothing but dazzling reviews about this guy. Um, he might be a first-round value, but the reason why... Belichick is getting a lot of heat for selecting Cole Strange at 29th overall, is nobody expected him to go there. He was likely a late second rounder at the earliest, more likely a late third rounder. So, you know, a lot of good players on the board. The Chiefs, they traded up and got Trent McDuffie with the Pats pick. Maybe they could have gotten him instead and still been able to get Cole Strange. In fact, there was a ESPN uh, ticker that came up that said the Patriots would have had a 95% chance of selecting Cole Strange with their second round pick. Um, obviously, they went with Strange in the first round. So it's not so much that I don't think Strange is a good fit. I think he's an excellent fit. Maybe even a first round talent for that. You know, it's hard to find good guards. It's much harder to find good tackles, but finding a good left guard that's going to fill that slot is very important to Belichick, important enough that he took him at a spot that was probably a bit of a reach and, and probably unnecessary. But Cole Strange will be great for Mac Jones to get that protection he needs um, right away. Um, but just to give you an idea, here is Sean McVay's reaction when the Patriots selected Cole Strange 29th overall. Really, Strange just went, oh my, UT Chattanooga to the first round. Hey, where is, how about that? And we wasted our time watching him thinking he'd be at 104. Maybe. <laughs> So, obviously, the, the Rams haven't had an early draft pick in about five or six years now, so their first pick was in the third round, and they were really eyeing Cole Strange. They were very bullish on him, uh, but they were expecting him to be available when the Rams were picking at, what was it, 101st overall. So, getting picked at 29th, much earlier than expected. I, I wish the Pats had gone for Cole Strange in the second and brought in a Devin Lloyd or a Trent McDuffie or even a Kobe Dean who, who slid quite a bit. I think they could have added speed at other positions and been able to keep a lot of the same players they drafted later. But another guy that they may have reached on um, was Tyquan Thornton, a wide receiver in the second round. He's out of Baylor. Now, Thornton ran a I believe it is a 4-2-1 41-yard dash in the scouting combine, which is the fastest in the history of the NFL scouting combine. Um, Patriots need speed at the receiver position, and they finally have it. Supposedly, Nelson Aguilar was that guy, but he didn't make that much of an impact last year. Defenses, they still stacked the box and were still able to cover all the receivers, which hurt the running game and obviously hurt the passing game, too. This guy's going to spread things out a lot more. He's going to be able to beat corners downfield. Um, and, and the running game is going to improve because defenses are going to have to compensate for that. So I really like the Tyquan Thornton pick. Um, now he's he's six foot two. He's pretty tall, but only weighs 183 pounds. Very slender frame. Um, just because he's fast doesn't mean he's agile. He was near the bottom in all of the cone and shuffle drills. Um, so a lot of work to be done there. But they may just send him downfield, make the defenses have to compensate for him, and that's going to improve. Um, it's going to make a lot of the other receivers open, particularly Jacoby Myers, the slot receiver. And it's going to make the running game a lot better um, because defenses won't be able to stack the box like they used to. Criticism with this pick, though, Tyquan Thornton. Many thought he was a third, fourth, maybe even fifth round draft pick. And the Pats took him in the second round. So maybe another reach. You, you could have gotten someone in the first round. You could have gotten Cole Strange in the second. And then maybe waited for Tyquan Thornton in the third or fourth. Well, they got him in the second. Um, so a bit of a reach there, but um, I think he's going to, you know, Pat's, uh, Tyreek Hill, I believe he was a fifth round draft pick. This guy's even faster than Tyreek Hill. So if he's, you know, a fraction of what Tyreek Hill is, maybe worth it. Um, now, another guy who I, I, here's a guy I don't think was a reach. Marcus Jones, third round selection, cornerback out of Houston. Um, this guy's only five foot eight, but do not let that fool you. He is a Jonathan Jones type speedy cornerback. 
Um, but most importantly, he's versatile. He can return kickoffs. He can return punts. He can even play the wide receiver position. He's basically an inverse of what Troy Brown was at the end of his career. Remember how Troy Brown suddenly became a defender? Well, this guy probably could play offense at wide receiver. I play in the slot, play in the outside if you needed him to. Uh, probably more of a slot receiver, but uh, you know, if the Patriots have some injuries at that position, they could insert him there as well. But I mean, look at him on this punt return. This guy is quick. He's agile. Um, he's going to be able to cover Tyreek Hill. You're going to have Jonathan Jones, who's another speedy uh, uh, cornerback that can c cover those fast NFL ready slot receivers. So now you got two of those guys between Marcus Jones and Jonathan Jones. Very good at covering those interior slot wide receivers. Um, and then keeping up with the Joneses here, another, uh, this was a fourth round pick uh, at cornerback. The Patriots selected out of Arizona State Jack Jones. Now, Jones had some issues with academics, um, some issues with the law. He played at USC, um, had some troubles there, went down to junior college before transferring back up to Arizona State. Now, this guy is more of a man defender than a zone defender. The Pats have added a lot of zone heavy guys, Terrence Mitchell being one of them, uh, Malcolm Butler, who can play zone very well. Um, this guy certainly can play zone, but he can play man there. It's just a little more depth, um, especially on the outside for some of those cornerback positions. Um, that's what Jack Jones is. And, you know, obviously there were some issues with academics, um, with the law. Hopefully, you know, the Pats have taken in some of these players before, and it's worked out pretty well. Some have not worked out well, and they cut them right away. We'll see. But Jack Jones... Um, Probably would go a lot higher if it weren't for those issues. Um, so I'm excited to see what the Patriots do. He'll be a little bit of a project uh, going forward. Um, and then adding some depth at the running back positions. You know you have Damian Harris coming back. Ramondre Stevenson, who may have leapfrogged Harris on the depth chart. We'll see. And, of course, James White, more of a third down pass catching back. Um, Pierre Strong Jr. out of South Dakota State. Um, this guy can play all of those types of running back roles. Um he uh, uh, he can be a pass catching back. He can uh, he can uh, uh, you know fill for Damian Harris or Ramondre Stevenson, and he's very fast too. He ran a four three seven forty yard dash, which was the fastest among all the running backs in the scouting combine. You know, I was listening to Colin Coward earlier, who said he was very disappointed with the Patriots draft because they're slow, they're not dynamic enough, and they didn't add enough fast dynamic guys. I couldn't disagree more. I think they reached on a lot of picks, but the guys they did select were fast and were dynamic, and Pierre Strong Jr. is one of those guys who can play whatever you ask him to do at the running back position. Um, and the Patriots keep drafting running backs every year because they know the turnover is quick. And, you know, running backs, you can often get two or three good years out of them and then trade them away somewhere. That's kind of what they did with Sony Michel. Um, maybe that's what they will end up doing with Damian Harris. Um, or, or who knows how long James White will last or how long he'll be healthy. So I actually really like this pick, even though a lot of people think the Pats are fine at running back. Adds a little more depth there, which is needed in today's NFL. Not to mention, all the running backs were drafted later in this year's draft. It was not a top-heavy running back class. Um, so there was a lot of really good talent in the later rounds, Pierre Strong Jr. being one of them. And another fourth-round pick, uh, Bailey Zappi, uh, quarterback out of Western Kentucky. Belichick, again, taking a lot of heat for these selections, including this one, because what does it mean for Mac Jones? Are you not confident in Mac Jones? I think he's plenty confident in Mac Jones, but what Bailey Zappi is is a carbon copy of Mac Jones. Not the most athletic, certainly not very mobile quarterback, but he's accurate. He gets rid of the football quickly. In fact, he threw for over 60 touchdowns at Western Kentucky. I believe he threw over 6,000 yards. This guy produced in college and is going to be able to step in and challenge Mac Jones on the field. But he also had a high Wonderlick score. He's going to be able to challenge Mac Jones intellectually in the locker room, too. And you have to remember, Brian Hoyer, um, he's not going to be there for very long. And how would you feel if Mac Jones went down at a playoff game and Brian Hoyer had to fill in for him? Not very good. I like Brian Hoyer. He's been a good mentor to Mac Jones, but not quite the same level of talent as Mac Jones. This guy, Bailey Zappi, adds a lot of continuity there to eventually fill that backup role behind Jones. He plays just like Mac Jones, and you're going to, you know, if Mac Jones ever goes down, you're going to see Zappi come in, and the offense is not going to skip a beat. And that's what's really important. And, you know, what happens down the road, who knows? I'm not sure Zappi's ever going to leapfrog Mac Jones on the depth chart, 
But if he turns out to be a solid quarterback, maybe you pull a Jimmy G and trade him away in the future. Um, Pats like to develop QB talents and trade him away. They did that. They drafted a lot of backups with Tom Brady. I think Bailey Zappi is another instance of that. Um, so I'm not going to delve too deep on uh, rounds uh, uh, 5, 6, and 7. Um, they're all crapshoot picks. Belichick doesn't even like fifth-round picks. He didn't even have one this year. He traded back because they are crapshoots. Um, so you never really know what you're going to get. Um, but, you know, just going through briefly, they drafted another running back, Kevin Harris, out of South Carolina. A bit more of a bruiser. Uh, Patriots don't really have that. I guess you could say Ramondre Stevenson is kind of a bruiser. Um, but... They're going to add a little more depth at running back and a big, big body there, and that's who Kevin Harris is. We'll see how he performs um, and if he even makes a roster. Um, Sam Roberts, defensive tackle, Northwest Missouri State. Uh, not a lot of people heard of Northwest Missouri State, uh, but it, uh, he won the Cliff Harris Award, which goes to the best non-FBS defender in the country. Kyle Duggar won that award in 2019. So if he succeeds in the same way Kyle Duggar has as a six-round pick, I'll be pretty happy with that. I think Sam Roberts at defensive tackle, um, really the only defensive tackle taken by the Patriots in this draft. Um, I'm pretty happy with that pick as well. Um, offensive lineman Chasen Hines out of LSU, 6'3", 327 pounds, also super athletic, 30-inch um, vertical, 9-foot broad jump, according to um, SB Nation's Pat's Pulpit, can play guard and center, um, so add some of that Ted Karras-type role. He went to the Bengals this offseason. So Patriots um, backfilling some of that depth there. And they also added Andrew Stuber, who's six foot seven, offensive lineman out of Michigan. Um, you know, not great in terms of fundamentals, not the quickest player. Obviously, he's six foot seven, 325 pounds, but he'll be a bit of a project um, for the Patriots and add a little more depth um, at the, uh, the, the tackle position, um, which is something they really needed heading into the draft. Um, so, you know, you add a big body in the seventh round and hope he pans out. That's exactly who Andrew Stuber is. Um, so that's my analysis. Overall, you know, I'll go back to the Cole Strange highlights. I'll give the Patriots and Bill Belichick a C plus. You know, I think in years past, I would give them a B plus because they filled all the roles they needed. They got a lot faster. They got a lot more dynamic, despite what Colin Cowherd says. Um, but they reached for Cole Strange. They reached for Tyquan Thornton. They could have gotten those guys later. They may have st still been able to get Marcus Jones. Um, they could have traded back again and still got Cole Strange and gotten more picks. And, you know, the Chiefs got Trent McDuffie and Sky Moore. Patriots could have gotten both of those guys. And if it turns out those guys are significantly better than Tyquan Thornton and Marcus Jones or Jack Jones, we're going to look back and say, well, Belichick... He's at it again. Doesn't have the greatest draft history over the last seven years. Um, that's why I'm giving him a C plus because it's been a lot of the same there. But you hope these guys fill in all the needs for the Patriots. A lot more speed. I'm excited, though. I think it's going to be a good year. I think the Patriots have a lot more depth than we've seen in previous seasons. Let me know what you think and what grade you give Belichick in the comments below.